Okay, this is Frank from Suffocation, and we want you to put your horns up. Long Island. Strong Island. Please welcome to the stage inductees to the Long Island Music Hall of Fame. Our own boys, Suffocation. New York celebrating suffocation induction to Long Island Hall of Fame. So first of all, congratulations, man. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's a, uh, it was a, it's a great honor, you know, to be part of something like that. You know, a lot of great artists are in the uh, Hall of Fame here on Long Island, and uh, you know, it's really cool that they, they finally, you know, uh, recognized and you know the accomplishments that you know suffocation's done for all these years. So, so many years doing this, and I'm sure this is one of your biggest accomplishments because unexpected, also. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, like um, we, we've been here on Long Island. We grew up pretty much here on Long Island, and everything. And you know, we never thought you'd get to something like that. And uh, you know, to be a part of that and everything's really cool. And uh, and you know, we're just we're, we're glad to be a part of it. In a cool way, it's relighting the fire before the new record comes out next year. It's cool because now you already have a buzz going into that, and I know Derek told me last time that the record is pretty much completed. Like, what, are, yep. what, what are your thought? What, what was the thought process into this particular record, as far as you know, the band as a whole, and of course you lyrically and vocally? Um, I mean, pretty much like it's it's you know pretty much the same thing that we've been doing uh, this whole time. Like suffocation really doesn't you know deviate from the path, and it's kind of like if something's you know not broke. You know, don't try to fix it. So, um, pretty much a lot of the same stuff. I mean, Terrence did a lot of writing, you know, for this album, and uh, you know, Derek did some writing as well and everything. So, I mean, I mean, like, um, it's got a great sound to it. Uh, it's it's all pretty much wrapped up, just about finished. Working on the album cover right now, and uh, it, it'll. I think it comes out in February. Nuclear Blast Records. Nuclear Blast. Yes. Yep. And what are your expectations for tonight? Because obviously it's a big celebration. You get your hometown. A lot of your friends are in town as well. You're just right. to celebrate you guys. So what are your expectations for tonight? How do you feel right now? Uh, it should be good. I mean, you know, it, it, these shows on Long Island, are, you know, uh, pretty smooth, you know, uh, run, runs good because, again, it's all, you know, a lot of it's family, friends, you know, stuff like that. So it's uh, no pressure. It's more of like a hangout type thing. Um, Unfortunately, you know, like the way that this show was done, you know, they wanted to do it, you know, as part of the induction stuff and everything. But uh, the thing is, you know, we played here not too long ago and, uh, you know, we can't really play the new material yet. So it's not like it's not like we have anything new, you know, for the fans. So, I mean, uh, you know, we apologize for that. But, uh, you know, it'll be a good show. I'll give it my all. I'm a little tired, but I'll do it the best I can. From the new songs, you know, we want to go into a few of them that really stand out for you guys right now. I mean, obviously, it's very fresh. So which are the songs that you think that are going to make the Suffocation fans really, really glad? Um, I think, like, uh, you know, there's definitely a couple of songs on there. Uh, Rapture of uh, Revocation, um, Endless Cycles of Suffering, you know. Um, they, 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 there's going to be some songs on it that will definitely make people happy, for sure. And how... Did the re-addition of your former drummer, but now he's putting on you know, your new drummer. How did that change the band, or how did that influence the album and the recording and all that? I mean, I not you know nothing really different or whatever you know as far as like you know what we were able to do. I mean, you know they they have uh, you know they, they both can pretty much play anything. You know, either one can pretty much play you know anything. The other guy can you know as well. I mean, you know Mike and and, and Dave, you know. Uh, both great drummers and, and both you can bring it. so like <clears throat> it wasn't anything looking into it to be like oh well you know now we'll have to change this around and that around you know no like you know pretty much is this is what it was going to be so right, because i said before but now you guys have definitely a like, set way to do your things and you don't want to deviate too much because then it doesn't you know not, not necessarily please the fans but it won't please you guys because then you're going to be like hey there's something missing and maybe a little uncomfortable maybe when right. you right so pretty much like like you know with us you know that that's how it's been the whole time. Uh, you know, we, we don't try to change things around. We're not going to try something new, something different. You know, like suffocations. What suffocation is? It's brutal death metal, and that's that's what it'll, it'll always be. That so. 
And Frank, you've been doing this for many, many years. So if you have to pinpoint a few differences between when you guys started to today, you guys are obviously are still just as active, you're known all over the world, you played all over the world. What are the main differences that you see in the music scene compared to when you started to today? I mean, the main difference now is like a lot more people know about the scene, you know, uh, than they did earlier. When we first started, everything was underground. Uh, if you really wanted to find out about a band, you really had to go look for a band. You know, like like nowadays, you can just hit the internet. You can you can you know pull up a band. You can research it on YouTube or whatever. <clears throat> so at this point in time now, I, I just think. The, the music's more readily acceptable to people, and and they, they get a chance to see it, you know, like like that, you know. It's also uh, it's also like like a double-edged sword in a way because you know nowadays uh, people don't buy albums, uh, so like you're pretty much like just putting together the music just for your own, you know, like your own self because a lot of people don't buy stuff anymore. You know, you can either get it for free, or if you want to, you can just Pandora Radio, or uh, if I really want to hear a, a, a song from any band, even you just go, okay, you know, uh, I haven't heard that song in a while. Let me hear it. You can pop it right on YouTube, and it pops right up. So, you know, that, that that's that's what kind of sucks about nowadays is is that you know, like, it's not where people you know go out and buy the music like they used to. So music definitely lives on the road. I mean, you know this. And speaking of touring, you have any touring plans? Obviously, when the record comes out, I'm sure there's a huge package. Anything that you can announce right now, as far as like where you're gonna be or where's it gonna start? No, no, no nothing yet. Um, I can't really tour full time anymore. Um, so like when, when the album comes out, I'll probably do. Uh, they'll probably set up about a month tour or something like that in the states. I'll only do about two weeks of it. There'll be a fill-in singer. And then um, I'll probably do, uh, you know, maybe a week or a week and a half uh, over in Europe. And then any other touring they do for the rest of the year, we'll probably have somebody else uh, filling in and doing that. I mean, I'll do like spot shows here and there and stuff, but unfortunately, as you get older and death metal doesn't make tons of money and, you know, I got a good job, so, um, you know, you got to work and, uh, and that's pretty much what it is. I'm not a kid no more, so. <laughs> And I mean, as you just said, and it happens to a lot of your friends too in bands that you're kind of like, hey, how come you're shifting gears? Like, you probably heard that David Kincaid announced this week that he's retiring from music, and for the same reason, because he's like, hey, man, there's no 401k, there's no, no like, no, no. You know, it's yeah, you tough. know, like, yeah, and, and definitely at this point, you know, like, you got to start thinking, you know, ahead in your life, you know, you got to start thinking long term goals and stuff. And unfortunately, you know, death metal, again, is not, is not, it, it's not the type of music where you're going to make millions. And way where you, you you know you can you can really make a good living on this. I mean, you can have fun with it, and you know, like some bands could have a steady live you know life on it. But for the most part, you know, nah, you you you, you know you do it more or less for you know, the fact that you, that's what you love. You love death metal, and that's what you play. So it's it's more or less that than you know trying to make a living. So no, it's a total reality. And Frank, before we get out of here. Let's send a message, obviously, to all the years of, you know, all the, all the supporters that have supported the band for so many years that are watching right now, because obviously it's a very special show tonight, so. Yeah, I mean, uh, I just want to say, you know, thanks to all our fans and uh, friends and everything, you know, for supporting us for all these years. Uh, it's been a great ride, and it'll continue to be, a, you know, a good ride. We'll see how long it goes and everything, but, uh, you know, just uh, thanks so much for the... Uh, the, the support over the years. We couldn't have done any of this stuff without our fans, and that's that's the honest truth. And thank you so much, and uh, stay brutal, and we'll see you soon. All right, Frank, I want to thank you. And again, congratulations on the newest accomplishments from the band, and best of thank luck. You. you know, I know you love this music, and it's not like you're going to be retiring. You just got to do it at your own pace, so right. best of luck with that. Thanks a lot. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, no.